Hi, welcome on and all to Mission SK. This is Chandra Shekhar doing MSc Computation Biology in Madurai Kamaraj University, Madurai. Here I am with a topic, what is bioinformatics? Well, this is not a billion dollar question, but a very common question everyone has. If you ask what is bioinformatics to a common biologist or any other common man, he will simply and humbly say bioinformatics is nothing but application of computation technology that is information technology and biotechnology but when you ask the same question to any other bioinformatician or computation biologist he started confusing he will start confusing you it is nothing but docking dynamics alg algorithm alignments and blah 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 let us see very simply what is bioinformatics bioinformatics is nothing but application of computer sciences and allied technology to answer the questions of biologists about the mysteries of life. Wow, that's true. We are trying to understand biology for centuries, which form for millions of years. So millions of years of mysteries could be solved within some centuries and bioinformatics is giving the upper hand by using computers to solve that mysteries. Here it is well quoted by Donald Knut, a renowned Stanford computer science professor. He says that biology has 500 years of existing problems to work on. I feel that biology is so digital, incredibly complicated, but incredibly useful. Note the word digital here. I will explain it within a couple of minutes. Why it is called digital? It has some meaning in it. Yeah, as we all know, bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary science. Bioinformatics borrowed theory from these many fields like biology, physiomics, cellulomics, biotech, evolution, infotech, ontology, proteomics, molecular modeling, mathematics, metabolomics, transcriptomics, genomics, statistics and what not. This clearly implies that any graduate or anyone who has a background in any field means among these fields can do wonders in bioinformatics. That's true. When I asked to my professor what is bioinformatics and when I can become a good bioinformatician, he just pointed out on a cartoon that an elephant People are touching a part of an elephant and saying that is uh, that I touched the whole elephant. For example, someone catched the tail of an elephant and said, I catched the elephant. Similarly, someone touched the trunk of an elephant or someone touched the uh, leg of an elephant and said, I catched the whole elephant. Similar in the case of bioinformatics. Someone does uh, just sequence analysis. Someone does the small leg and dynamics and they say they do the complete bioinformatics. But that's not the case. And that is true also. Anyone doesn't can do all the bioinformatics stuff. But we can use the technology as much as possible. And this is what the place, I mean, the theme of our presentation or our talk. Bioinformatics, why it is called digital. Actually, if it is simply application of computers to science is called bioinformatics, then it can be physioinformatics if it is applied to physics. But this is not the case. The important thing is that the most important biological information is digital. For example, if you see DNA, it is 4 liter string. Similarly, RNA, protein or microarray image. These are digital data. And of the types of data that are used in modern molecular biology, since the last decade or so, DNA protein sequences, they form the major proportion. Both these are represented as strings or discrete symbols like, like ATGC or GAVLIP like it goes on for 20 amino acids and proteins. An analysis of these sequences is therefore tantamount to analysis of the strings of symbols, a topic that lies at the center of computer science, for example. Thus, all the tools and techniques that have been developed to precise digital information may be directly applied to the sequences without having to go through an intermediate step, which is common in all many other disciplines. Fine. Now we made clear what is bioinformatics. Hope I made it clear. Now I make it uh, one more thing clear that what not is bioinformatics. See, the letters I have written in green color mention what is bioinformatics and the thing in red is not what not is bioinformatics. For example, analyzing DNA or RNA sequences to predict their structures is bioinformatics. But it is not the same in the case of using computers in process control in biotechnology is bioinformatics. Similarly, analyzing protein sequences data to predict their location inside the cell is called bioinformatics. But 
not developing a database means just a medicinal database and just putting some data it is not called bioinformatics it should be by database in the sense it should be because of an ncbi they are frequently depositing data and maintaining tools to assess that data so analyzing gene expression images is called bioinformatics but not using computers to identify fingerprints or uh, to identify the ecg signals see at the last point using computers to analyze ecg signals which you might observe in hospitals is not called bioinformatics but identifying new drug molecule that will help uh, hospitals to function means for curing diseases that is called bioinformatics using computers for it wow okay fine then what are the present scenario going in bioinformatics however bioinformatics will lie within this circle only the first thing is genomics and proteomics to enhance the efficiency of it just think over human genome project it just for just human species a homo sapiens alone it just deposited 3 billion base path sequences in online server to an, us to analyze so that many data is there for us to analyze to make meaning out of it similarly we need algorithm development for analyzing those data using some uh, we can come up with some f uh, good mathematical things stuff to analyze those data and similarly interaction pathways we all know that the metabolic pathway is the key to our biological systems so analyzing those interaction pathways we need computer usage computational efficiency for that and computer aided drug designing is one of the mantra in bioinformatics now because uh, modeling dynamics which are the terms you are often used to hear is from it means to that computer drug designing and help pharmacologists to design the drug very fast it's true in many cases and sequence alignment to say the significance of sequence alignment just look over this example gates like cheese and greater cheese cheese if you just uh, just compare align these two sentences two uh, two sentences you just found g and e getting matched means two strings got matched but if you move cheese very far away very little far you can get lot of strings to be matched so the same logic the same kind of logic with some algorithm behind it we are using in bioinformatics sequence alignment so uh, if it's in the case of it may be no no sense here but if it is the case of con amino acids which, which is made up of which makes protein think over g for glycine a for alanine and s for serine like that if you think over it it will make sense in the case of biology fine then what is molecular phylogenetics look over the tree here it means it means phylogenetic tree which is built out of molecular data maybe dna or a protein similarly the sequence alignment uh, the whole colorful stuff here is called multiple sequence alignment got from cluster lw it means checking for conservation over many number of sequences and lot of other applications are there which can be used as an input for generating this phylogenetic tree Similarly, biodatabases, as I mentioned, NCBI, a big data warehouse from that GenBank, GenPrep, and a lo lot of the bioinformatics databases are there. And finally, microarray bioinformatics. We know that microarray is how much efficient, and its output will be to be analyzed with bioinformatics approach. So, friends, we made ourselves clear what is bioinformatics and what are the applications of bioinformatics. Thank you for hearing the lecture.